Hi all, welcome to another Pokemon TCG opening adventures uh, by me, your host, the Amateur Collector. And as usual, what we're going to do is shake this box up. It's in, you see, all these papers in there. And pick out a paper. And what's written on there is what I'm going to be opening up. So I'm going to be opening up the Hitmonchan Call of Legends Triple Blister Pack. And here it is. Um, pretty sure this is actually the first time I'm going to be opening up a Gen 4 uh, TCG merchandise. So that's got me excited. So as you can see, this is a blister pack with three booster packs, a coin and a promo card. So uh, let's get straight into it. It's for Calls of Legend, Call of Legends. A set I'm actually quite excited about uh, opening up. I know a lot of people might not have necessarily been overly fond of it. And, ugh, damn, as usual, I'm not opening this up properly. But anyways, yeah, not a lot of people must have been fond of that. Not everyone likes reprints. But, uh, I don't know, I'm okay with it. Okay. <laughs> that was a disaster of opening. Alright, three booster packs. One promo, that came out easy. And a coin. So I got this from magicmadhouse.co.uk for about, let's see, I think it was £9.99. Oh, £9.95. I was close enough. So it comes with two Call of Legends booster packs. A Platinum Supreme Victors, which uh, has glue on it. A Dialga coin, which I don't think you can see properly here because of the lighting. But yeah, it's cool. Feels a lot smaller and thinner than the other ones are for the X and Y sets. And of course the promo card. Hitmonchan, but this one is HGSS24. So I think it was just the last, the before last cards for this promo set. I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but pretty sure this is just a reprint, this artwork with a different foil. Which is a, a little disappointing, but I've noticed a lot from this promo set do that. Alright, so let's get straight into it. I'll start with the Platinum Supreme Victors. I think last time I opened this, I got some really good cards. That was all the way back in Pokemon TCG Opening Adventures Season 1. So, go check that out. Got really awesome pulls. It was from a Charizard Level XG tin, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, awesome. I managed to open this up without it ripping apart. See if I can get the cards out now. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. So I think it's the usual three and then two. I could be wrong, but oh, let's try. We'll see. We start off with Magnemite. Turtwig. Chatot, still doing that evil squint. Don't know if you can see. Come on, come on, come on, focus. Well, uh, I'm sure you know what Chatot looks like. It's always got the same expression. Drifloon, Seal, Yanma, Hippopotus. Palmer's Contribution, I think this character is a frontier brain if I'm not mistaken. The reverse is a V-Seeker, or Versus Seeker, or VS Seeker. And, oh, a hollow, awesome. A frontier brain drift blim, nice. 
Wow, I am definitely getting no, 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 a sleeve for that. That is a great start to this. Let's put you there with Hitmonchan. Alright, now for the Legends, Call of Legends booster packs. I don't think this is the first time I'm opening them up. But, and it won't be the last, I know that, because I have an entire booster box still to open. Oh, dang. Oh, well. So I look forward to that in the future. Actually, come to think of it, I've not opened up any booster boxes yet for this adventure. That means there's going to be loads of them left to open. Awesome. Alright, we have ourselves a Morwile. Chikorita, my favourite Johto starter. Probably one of my all-time favourite Mons. Coughing. Pineco. Cinderquill. Research record. Interesting. Pidgeotto. Bayleaf. Naturally also one of my favourites, because it evolves from one of my favourites. Ooh, a Reverse Vaporeon. That is a... Uh, if you can see, well, that's an uncommon. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. And... Oh, another rare! Yes! Got ourselves a Palkia. Hollow. And look how sparkly that is. Beautiful. And the back's pretty good condition too, so I'm happy. Alright, let's get another sleeve. Wow, this is a great blister pack opening. Okay, well then, let's hope the last one can do just as good. Oh my god, I would die if I got another hollow. If I got an ultra rare, man. Come on, Groudon, you can do it. Badly opened again. Alright, I'll just rip it open. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so Call of Legends has an awful lot of secret rares. I would love it if I can get at least one. So let's start off with Slowpoke. I hope this is focusing. Pidgey. Totodile, Mareep, Relicant, Professor Oak's New Theory, Copycat, awesome, who's the artist for this one? It's Kanoko Io. I do miss some of the Ken artwork for trainer cards, they're pretty cool. Quilava, Reverse Clefable, and that is a rare. So even if I don't get a holo, I've got a booster pack of two rares. And another holo! Yes! Magmorta! My god, I am happy. You know what, I might have this one, I'm not too sure, but even if I do, man. Look at this blister pack opening. Alright, well, let's start off with, I guess, what's the least interesting one, which probably be the promo, really, because that's standard. So, promo Hitmonchan. I'm very happy with it, and I love that you can still see the shining underneath it. See the shards there? Reverse Clefable. I don't know if that's actually a hollow originally, but either way, it's a rare. And, whoa, uh -oh, don't fall down. Here we go. Frontier Brain Driftblin, Magmortar, and Palkia. Well, guys, thanks for watching this awesome video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, if you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe and like the video. There will be more coming up for this uh, Pokemon TCG opening adventures. Many more to come. Hopefully I'll get just as good pulls, and I'll see you in the next video. Maybe I'll get some awesome pulls there too.
Bye-bye.